My name is uh, Andrew uh, Satanovich. Uh, me and my sister Mary Mahoney, she, she was a Satanovich, but now she's a Mahoney. And uh, we purchased this place in uh, March 1963, and we, uh, we worked on it for about 14 months before we was able to open up in May 64. Uh, my sister Mary saw the potentials in it, so, uh, so you know, so we may have figured we bought it, make a restaurant and lounge out of it. How y'all all doing? Bob Mahoney here, nice to have y'all there. I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just talk about how we got into the restaurant business here uh, some 44 years ago. Of course, I guess to take you back to uh, my mother's upbringing, when she was 14 years old, her mentor was the uh, local priest. His name was Father Mullen. And uh, Father Mullen helped mother with her homework. <laughs> with her homework and uh, that was the Catholic Church down the street, St. Michael's Catholic Church. He helped mother with her homework, and of course as, as mother grew, uh, he also instilled on her the number one publication in the world, and that was the New York Times Magazine section. So my mother would send my daddy to the newsstand every Tuesday to get the Sunday New York Times, and what mother did, she read the New York Times Magazine from front to cover, and I tell everybody, so uh, by the time Mother got to Mary Mahoney's old French house, she had a doctorate in social endeavors, food, music, art, and fashion. She knew all about it. Well, anyway, uh, before she got into Mary Mahoney's restaurant, where Mother got her experience in the, uh, the tourist industry, my dad was a night auditor at the Tivoli Hotel. The guy, the guy that was in running the lounge at the Tivoli Hotel wasn't doing a good job, so the owner wanted him out, and he left, and, and the owner asked my dad, who was a night auditor at the hotel, if my mother would be interested in running a lounge. So my dad asked mom that, and mother said, well, I don't know how to make drinks. My daddy said, just bat them pretty eyes at him and ask them what goes in it, they'll be more than happy to tell you. You know, so my mother got in the lounge business probably in about around 1950, and she stayed in that lounge business for 11 years. I tell everybody, mother was in marketing before marketing was ever a cliche. She was probably one of the first businesses to have egg separators as acoustic tile, you know, to absorb music. And what she did, she spun LP records in there, male vocalists, female vocalists, Broadway shows, operas, and instrumentals. So if you had any class about yourself, you kind of gravitated to, to Mother's Little Lounge. And of course, and you like and you liked the Martini or you liked the Manhattan, you know. So Mother did that for about uh, uh, 10 years. And uh, if you took beer for bar to come knock yourself out. I was running the shrimp boat. My daddy gave me a shrimp boat, rather. And I was running it for about uh, 10, or uh, 10 or 12 years. And uh, I, uh, shrimping was getting from bad to worse. And I knew I better look for something else to do. And my sister, and it was, uh, she lost her, uh, she was running a lounge in, in a local hotel and she lost her lease. And then she was looking for something. So that, that left both of us looking for something. And this house come up for sale. And so we grabbed it right away. And uh, it, it had uh, historical significance because it was uh, one of the oldest houses in America. 